Takže ahojte vás kjugendi, naši šel londýnsky vás kjugend. A dneska bude taký špeciálny vlog, pretože sa budeme venovať tak trošku takéj komiksovej postave, by som povedal. A to konkrétne detektívovi Sherlock Holmes. Mám ho tu aj dokonca pred sebou. Mám tu pred sebou soku Sherlocka Holmesa. Krásne. Ešte s fajkou. A, 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 ešte niečo ma písal na ňom, ešte nie je moc vidlo. Ideme dneska do múzea. V roku 1880, myslím jedna, až do 1905 sa vlastne písala, sa vlastne písala román, alebo o tomto detektívovi a písal to, myslím, Sir Conan Arthur Doyle. My sa dneska ideme podívať do muzea Šelka Holmesa a Baker Street a Steve Gandy. Sherlock Holmes a dneska taký kartučký vlog z Baker Street. Takže tak, ideme. Pozerám si budovy a tu niekde je muzeum Šenovka Holmesa a Skio Gendy. Neviem, starší ľudia si určite pamätajú, tí mladší možno ani tak nie. Starší ľudia si určite pamätajú na Šerlúka Bohumca. Takže dneska tiež na takýto trošku netradičný štýl. Inak samozrejme budeme pokračovať vo vlogovaní čo sa týka Jacka Rozporovača, pretože tam na vás vás v Kyugendi čakajú dosť husté filmy, by som povedal, takže si to nenecháte húst. A dneska špeciálny vlog Show Holmes. Kde je to muzeum? Kde je to muzeum? Kde je to muzeum? Steve Bendy, tu máme už pod sebou muzeum Šerlka Olmsa. Takže ideme dovnútra a popýtame sa, či môžeme urobiť nejaké tie zábery. Wow, ale je to tam fakt pekné, asi myslím. Everything after the Sherlock Holmes. That's exactly right, sir. Yes. So these are all real hmm? Victorian antiques of the age and of the kind that Sherlock would have had himself. Yeah, but he, he was a real, uh, or he was. Of course, a... he's my boss. So the the Sherlock Holmes character uh -huh. is, is is very interesting because the the stories which we read, the detective adventures by Arthur Conan Doyle, are works of fiction. Uh, he it was, was fact. a great uh -huh. a great fan of Edgar Allan Poe, so uh -huh. he wrote detective stories in his style. But the Sherlock Holmes character is based on a real person, uh -huh. and his name was Joseph Bell. He was Doyle's medical professor in Edinburgh, and he had the same. Power Hours of observation with uh -huh. Sherlock. So one would walk into his office and he would say, Look at your shoes, you must have walked this path. Look at your hands, I can guess your job. And that's what uh -huh. gave him the idea for the Sherlock character. So it was, he was a real uh, man. 
Yes, he, he was so, real, so, uh, yeah, so his personality, personality his, his attributes real. are based on a real person, but the adventures are, are created, they're, they're works of fiction. Ah, okay. So he... Joseph well, Bell. Sorry. Joseph Bell. Well, okay. Takže s tím právě počulím, vlastně vidí, že to bylo na základě pravdivých skutečností. So uh, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in Sherlock's bedroom. And as this was his personal space, these are all his personal effects, which tell us a great deal about him. For instance, this back wall here is something of a rogues gallery of real-life criminals and murderers from Sherlock's day. I'm sure he would have been extremely interested in these cases, at least that of Thomas Neil Cream. Cream was a notorious serial killer, known as the Lambeth Poisoner, but he has been remembered by history as one of the key suspects in the Jack the Ripper murders. Indeed, Cream once confessed to being Jack the Ripper, even though he was in jail at the time of those crimes. But Sherlock Holmes had a number of techniques for dealing with such villains, and one of those was to approach them in disguise. So over here we have some 19th century actors' makeup, of the kind which Holmes would apply as part of these famous disguises. Dr. Watson was particularly impressed by this talent, mm -hmm. and he would tell his friend that the stage lost a great actor when you chose to focus on crime. And this is a very interesting statement, because real-life actors, both on stage and on screen, have had a huge influence on the way in which we think about Sherlock today. So one last artifact is... se tedy nosí do šaty v té době. Takže vlastně jsme zjistili, že... Šelok Holmes byl v skutečnosti půlha pravdivou příběhu. It's real, come. The animals are real. They're they're real. They're real. They're real. They're real. Ah, Napoleon. Napoleon, especially by Holmes. But she was, uh, he was a pra French. He was but he appears in one of these stories that's called The Six Napoleon, one of the Sherlock Holmes short stories. It talks about the treasure that's hidden inside a Napoleon figure like that one. Nice. Well, 
Ich mal ein bisschen. Także was kilka dni są już prawie w wąku. Bo to co tam? To są mamy tak, co mam robił jakie sabory. Do końca mali można spoczuć, że Sherlock Holmes był sice fiktywna postawa, ale była to, było to założone albo spisane na základě skutečnej udalosti. Napísal spisovatelom bol vlastne Sir e, e, Arthur Conan Doyle a jemu nejaký známy vlastne vyrozprával príbeh a on tento príbeh dal na papier. Takže, takže tak. Dneska na tému Šeroka Honca pozdravím všetkých vás kilogendov a Majte sa krásne a budeme pokračovať ďalej. Máme pred sebou ďalšie, ďalšie videá o Jackovi rozporovačovi, k tomu ide ešte aj princesna Diana. Chystám sa do Northamptonu, kde je princesna Diana pochovaná, takže sa máte na čo tešiť. Majte sa krásne a aj obrázky.